In this final example, we want to simplify 3x all cubed times 2x cubed all to the power of 4 divided by 6x to the 8 all to the power of 2. So we're going to simplify each bit individually first. So we have 3x cubed. So 3 gets cubed as well. So 3 cubed is 27. So 27x cubed. I'm going to multiply that by 2x cubed to the power of 4. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So that's 16x to the power of 12. x cubed to the power of 4 would be x to the 12. Divided by 6x to the 8 squared. So 6 squared is 36. And x to the 8 all squared would be x to the 16. Okay. So, if we just deal with the um, numbers on one side, so 27 times 16 over 36 on one side, and we deal with the x's on the other, so x cubed times x to the 12 over x to the 16, we're going to simplify each of these pieces. So, 27 and 16, um, and we've got this 36. So, thankfully, um, the 27 and the 16 both contain a 3 and a 2. So, we can take divide both top and bottom by 6. So, divide that by 3 would give us 9. Divide that, divide that by the 2 would give us 8. Divide that by the 6, we give us 6. Okay? And on this side, we've got x cubed times x to the 12, so x to the 15, divided by x to the 16, would be x to the minus 1. Now, can we simplify that any further? Well, we could divide top and bottom by another 2. So divide that by 2, divide that by 2. Then we could divide top and bottom by 3. And so we're left with 3 times 4, which is 12x to the minus 1. And that is the original problem simplified. So you could have gone into um, long multiplication division there to solve that problem without a calculator. Or you can take divide top and bottom by uh, factors, in which case it, I think that's going to be quicker for you to get down to 12.